All right, everybody, back with some more Bernie Williams stuff. Actually, a bunch of Bernie Williams stuff, so hopefully this video doesn't take too long, but we'll see. First off, just wanted to show this thing. I had shown this before. I had it still sealed in the case, but the case was getting, like, all dirty and yellow, so decided to just take it out of there. Pretty cool little figure. The hat comes off. I try not to put the hat all the way on because then it becomes, like, almost impossible to remove. But yeah, it was a two-figure pack. Also had Juan Gonzalez in it, which looks a lot like my uncle there. Like, I need to get a picture of my uncle and put it side by side to show you guys the comparison. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Maybe I'll buy another sealed one at some point. I've seen them on eBay, but decided to let those roam free. So let's get to some of these cards. First off, this is more stuff that I already had in my collection, but hadn't shown it. Or at least I don't think I've shown it in a while. Like, this was like separate from most of my other cards. Just found it recently. There's like a minor league team set with Bernie in it. 1989 Columbus Clippers. So you see a bunch of the. There's Bernie. But yeah, this was the Triple A team for the Yankees back in the day. Not sure who they're affiliated with now. But yeah, and this Bernie is already marked off on my checklist. So I don't know if I did that because I remember having this set or maybe I have another one of those in the binder I haven't checked. Yeah, a bunch of these other guys in there. Randy Velarde, he was a pretty good hitter, but never really liked his attitude. Hal Morris. So they had a couple guys here that made it to the big leagues. Dave Island, he was the pitching coach on the 09 championship team. So pretty cool little team set there. Bucky bleeping dent Bob Guerin. He's been a major league manager So yeah, there's that one and then I had another minor league set, but This one I had still sealed in the plastic. So again another item that I just had sealed and Decided to crack open just to really enjoy it Can't really enjoy a lot of this stuff when it's sealed like that especially this one because it was sealed in one of those little plastic bags that the minor league sets come in so you couldn't even see the Bernie you just saw this guy in front and wherever that is in the back so again just decided to finally open it up but again a lot of these Columbus Clippers from back in the day there's Dave Island again Bernie somewhere in here Bob Guerin another Velarde Kevin Moss, the infamous Kevin Moss. There goes Bernie. That's sweet right there. And this one I did not have marked off on my checklist. So I'll count this one as a new Bernie, even though I had this set in my collection for like over a decade. But again, just kind of forgot about it. But now that I cracked it open, can really look through it and enjoy it. Might eventually pick up another one of those Bernies just so I can keep this set together. But I'll just put the entire set in the Bernie box. Alright, so now let's just move on to some of the more recent stuff I picked up. Mostly from eBay. Just a variety of stuff. First off, here's this Donruss Elite die cut. Were these the mirror gold? I think they call them status gold. Number to 24. But let me get it out of here. As Todd Burlingame used to say, let's collazo this thing. Check that out. Beautiful shine on that. But yeah, a lot of these old Donruss Elite parallels were just really well done. So a nice one there. Then got one of these, which are pretty cool too. These top sterling. This one's one out of three. Has a little bit of chipping, but I didn't mind too much. Shout out to I Collect Ichiro on these. I saw he had some of the Ichiro's from this set. And so I started looking to see if Bernie was in there and sure enough he was. I forgot how I got this one. Can't remember if it was a buy it now or an auction, but either way, just love that pickup. There's some other variations on these. This is the, I think this is called the suede variation. There's like a few other different colors that I wouldn't mind getting. But these don't really pop up as often as you would think. This is from 2010, Top Sterling. But yeah, I really like that one. 
Next one is also from 2010. I think it's just from the regular Tops product. It's this manufactured bat barrel. I know a lot of people don't like the manufactured stuff. And I kind of go back and forth on it. Like some of it doesn't look good, but I really like the look of this one. As I always say, if it's if the card looks good, I don't really care if it's a manufactured piece or not or game used piece or not. And I just got this for five bucks. If that was an actual bat barrel, there's no way I would have got this for five bucks. But still, just a really nice addition for the Bernie collection. Couple more here. This one was actually from Card Cave Central. That's Manny right there from All Star Jersey Shop here on YouTube. A lot of you might remember him. But yeah, he had this one up there, this Leaf Limited. Man, I really gotta take all of these out because the top loaders really hide the shine. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Multicolored swatch there. Got the road gray, the white, a little bit of the navy blue. So that's either gotta be from the New York on the front or from the number on the back. But again, really nice. Like all this stuff from that era, like Donruss Elite and Leaf Limited, they did a really great job with those. That one's 23 out of 25. So thanks for that, Manny, if you're still around. And I think this is the last one from eBay. It's another relic here. This one's from Panini Prime Cuts. Not the best patch piece there, especially for card number to 10. But I got this pretty cheap. This was one of those where I just threw a bid on it and... I told myself if I get outbid, I'm not going to go for it any further. But as it turns out, I did not get outbid. So got it pretty cheap. So I'll happily add that to the collection. This next stack is actually from Facebook. And I mentioned it a while ago, like a few months ago, I joined Facebook just for the card groups and all that. Like I'm not on there to socialize or gossip about people or any of that. Like I just log into Facebook just to check to see if there's like any group breaks going on or any sales or to see what people are posting in the super collector group and all that and so i found a lot of cool groups on there and found a group that was doing like retro breaks i think it's actually called like retro breakers or something like that and they were breaking a lot of product from like late 90s early 2000s like a huge break they had like 35 boxes or something like that and you could either buy your team or buy a specific player and they actually didn't have a spot for bernie williams but i talked to them and they made a bernie spot for me so Anyway, here's the stuff I got from there. You can see some of the products they were opening. UD Choice. Tops Chrome. I'm pretty sure I have most of these, but still, any Bernie is a good Bernie. Molten Metal. I know for sure I don't have one of these. I think it's this one. But as I always say, love the old Flare Showcase. To me, that was just like the standard of really cool... 90s cards so again haven't really checked to make sure which ones I don't have so I'll update that later but just a lot of cool products that they opened pinnacle performers some more pinnacle forgot what that one was called I know for sure I don't have one of these I think this was called the copper that's the silver from the top stars I know for sure I have this. I broke a lot of this back in the day. Some of the 98 finest. So since I have multiple of these, I guess I can peel one of those. I peeled one of these before the 99 finest. And the coolest thing I got in there was this prism card. I think these were called like hollow foil or hollow gold, something like that. Numbered to 480. So yeah, really cool pull there. Like to me, that's a hit. I think to all of us who were breaking 90 stuff, we call this a hit. So again, gotta show this one nice and up close. But yeah, that's a really cool pull there. Really happy to get that one. Would definitely join in on a similar break like this again. And lastly, I was debating whether or not to show this one in this video or do a separate video for it, but screw it. Let's get it over with in this one. But first, let me show this, which 
I had shown months ago when I picked it up. This booklet from Panini Pantheon, number to 15. Has the Heart of the Yankee Order from the mid to late 90s. O'Neill, Bernie, and Tino. So yeah, as I said, loved that when I picked it up. But then saw there was another version of it on eBay. And the price on it wasn't too bad. And on top of that, the seller did like, I think it was like a 30% off or something. And it had like 15 watchers. So I did the old watch this move and hit the buy it now button. Like I don't understand sometimes when there's like a really good deal on an item and there's just a bunch of watchers and nobody's taking it. Like the price on this was not going to get much better than it was. So again, I just jumped on it. And this is the one of one version of the booklet. So again, same three players, just some different material pieces on it. Not even sure what that is on the O'Neill side there. Not sure if that's part of his wristband or batting gloves. The burning material pieces are really cool. Got a piece of the MLB logo and I think that's like the name of the company that used to make the jersey. So that's like the laundry tag. The only disappointing part is the Tino side, just two regular bat pieces. But still really love that. So now I have the out of 15 and the 101. Still need to find some booklet holders for these. Like I bought a booklet holder for the other one and it didn't fit. Like these booklets are too big for the booklet holders that I picked up. So I don't know, gonna have to look into that more. But yeah, it's gonna be it. Or at least for now, that's gonna be it. I already have two other Bernies on the way. So once I get like another dozen or so stacked up, I'll do another update video. So. Thank you all for watching. Catch you guys next time.